Hey friends, welcome back to Cooking with Nandidi. Today we're going to make one of my mom's delicious dishes called Old Fashioned Scalloped Potatoes. After you've washed, peeled, and sliced your potatoes, you want to make sure you slice them thinly. Um, I think mine are probably about half an inch thick, if that. All right. I'm melting about two and a half tablespoons of butter in the microwave. And while it's melting, lightly oil an 8x8 eight eight Pyrex pan. And by the way, this recipe serves, I guess, about four people. Season your potatoes with your Cajun seasoning, a little pepper. Cover them and then with seasoning. And a friend of mine bought this toasted garlic, and I tell you, it really does kick up a recipe. So I'm going to add that later. I'm sprinkling um, a little more seasoning, pepper, and salt on mine. Layer them in rows. As you can see, um, I'll go back over and season them. Once you've seasoned your potatoes and layered them, this is when you sprinkle your toasted garlic on top. In a large measuring cup is what I'm going to use. If you don't have a large one, just use a, a medium-sized bowl. You want to do about two-thirds cups of evaporated milk. And I know right here you see one and one-third, but later on I'm going to add some. Add your melted butter to the evaporated milk. And I buy this shredded Parmesan cheese from the deli section of my grocery store. Give it a little whisk. Add in your basil. Give it a little stir. And you guys know I like to um, not waste. So I'm using a little more seasoning here some pepper packets from a restaurant and a salt packet and that's optional you know your taste buds and how much seasoning you want now some people add nutmeg to their scalloped potatoes my mom added a pinch of cloves and I'm adding about one teaspoon of some cornstarch so it can thicken it up when it bakes a little more seasoning in my liquid mixture here give it a little stir And now what you want to do is pour half of your liquid over your potatoes. Make sure they're covered as best you can. If not, don't worry about it. You're going to get another opportunity to cover it up. Now add another layer of potatoes on top of your first layer. And I'm using an 8x8 eight eight Pyrex pan. And it's perfect for a small family of two or no more than four. Now you take your remaining milk and cheese mixture. Gently pressing down your potatoes into the liquid. Because you want to make sure that they bake evenly and I'm sprinkling some smoked paprika on top I'm going to spray the um, foil paper so it doesn't stick to it cover it tightly place it in your oven and by the way the recipe is in the description part of this video bake it for 45 to 50 minutes Take the foil off and place it back in the oven for about three to five minutes so that it's toasted on top. As you can see, we already took a big chunk out of it and it was delicious. Peace.